get that ball back with interest. Fifteen thirty. That's just a result of knowing that Osaka is going to be aggressive on that return. Yeah. Just try and do a little bit too much with the serve. Three of 14. Second serve points one for Shea. It's a lowly 21%. I think a very animated Osaka today. More than usual. Yeah, definitely. That is to do with the opponent on the other side of the net. No question about it. And the game style. Game shift. Frustration mounts for Osaka. Gesticulated she towards her box. What am I doing? Why am I missing? It's 6-5. You won, you don't, you Rob. I mean, we look at Osaka here with the tail over her head. She's now four in the world. She's seated four here. She's a US Open champion. It's a little bit different. I mean, that type of pressure is just a little bit different to what she had, you know, this time last year or any other time in her career. All of a sudden now, people look to you as, oh, well, you know, if you do well here, if you get to the semis, or, you know, you could be the number one player in the world, you could win another major. All these questions just add a little bit more pressure to someone like Osaka. Too true. of what's going on. We're taking a look at the work rate of both players. Um, soccer. Almost 8% more than uh, Suwe. Perhaps putting a lot more into her shots is uh, the Japanese woman as a result. Just Working a little harder. She will Love suffocate 15. you with depth. And the other thing when you play against Shea is that very often you have to create the pace. You talk about the depth that's there, mm. but it's not a big shot all the time, isn't it? So it's always a little bit more difficult to create pace. was the easiest shot in the whole Fifth point. <laughs> Laughing at herself there. If you gave that shot to a ten times, she's going to make it nine. 
That's a big miss there. Big difference between 15 all and love 30. That could be a major plot point in the outcome of the set list. Osaka, but good enough to hit the second one away once the first one came back. She stood her ground there, Shay. Two missed forehands takes the unforced error count for Osaka. It's the sport control that's been lacking Liz, on those forehands more often than not. Yeah, just a little bit adventurous, just trying to hit it too flat and too hard. Yep. Take a little bit off it. It's a set point for Shea. It's really well played from Osaka at all. Keep yes. in mind that she just made two unforced errors on the forehand wing. This one doesn't get up very high, does it? She really makes sure she clears the net. The racket just brushes up the back of the ball. Good work. Good problem solvers. That's what the great champions are. Good job, uh, Osaka, to stay in that shit. point. Talk about work rate right there. And then the one that she thought she could do a little bit more with was the one that she made the unforced error on. It's a dangerous shot to go big on when the ball is relatively low, heading it aggressively down the line. So she needs to give the ball more shape on the forehand. Set point number two. What a weapon to have at break point. Ace number six for Osaka. Drops the hammer. Right where the coach would have put the cone. That said, go ahead, hit that. shot to go for the winner on is it not when you're fighting you're back to the wall you've already saved two set points now you have to save a third it'll be third time lucky for shape
What an opening set of tennis. The US Open champion is on the ropes. It's shape who's bagged it seven games to five in 45 minutes. Well, 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 we have got a match on our hands here. It had it all and it ended with a code violation for Naomi Osaka for smashing a racket, unsportsmanlike conduct. Conduct. Let's see what the summary tells us. Well, we know the first serve percentage has been incredibly high for Osaka on that first serve. Well, it dropped toward the latter stages of that first set, didn't it? The winners 16 to 12 in favour of Osaka, but the unforced errors, that's a category that's pretty high. After a set, 20 of them. A lot of those coming in the last couple of games on the forehand side. Total points one, just one point in it. That's how close this set was. Wow. And that's the tough thing to deal with mentally. You've invested all this time and effort. You're one point behind your opponent. Yet the way the scoring system works, it's an entire set. You've got to start with a clean slate. And great variety, as we mentioned from both players, the power of Osaka and the subtleties and the disguise from uh, this lady, exquisite. She had an early break, remember, that was 4-2, and then she really went away for a while. Osaka won three games in a row, and then it's really been just back and forth since then. Dang. That was the reaction from Osaka after losing that first set. And that was one.